Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing with you all of the new-ish makeup products that I have um, been loving and using. And uh, yeah, I told myself I wasn't going to do like an intro or anything, but uh, I really dropped the ball on just like getting getting started with this video. I got the new Dior Rosy Glow Blush. I have stuff from Phytosurgeons, and I also have stuff from this adorable French brand called Yolaine. So let's just hop into it. Um, so I have been loving the things that I bought from Phytosurgeons. So Phytosurgeons is a Canadian-based indie brand, and I have fallen in love with the stuff that I got from them. Um, so in my blush video, I will link it somewhere. I don't know. Um, I talk about the shade Inferno. Inferno is this amazing kind of terracotta, um, burnt sienna-ish kind of blush color. Today I'm gonna go in with Evaporate, and this is much cooler. Um, I not sure how to really explain this color. I think on the website it explains it as like a milky tea type of color and I will swatch it next to Inferno here so you can see the color difference between the two. And I am obsessed with the texture of these blushes. They're so like moussey and just elegant feeling. Like they're just really pleasant to touch. The top shade here is Evaporate and the bottom shade is Inferno. As you see, Evaporate is significantly cooler than Inferno. I really enjoy placing this blush on with my finger and this is super pigmented. A little bit goes a, like a really long way, but how I've liked the effect of this blush is when I place it on my skin with my finger and lightly tap it out and then I go in with a brush to diffuse everything. And this way I feel like, ooh, this way I feel like it's a more even application without any type of like sticking or like blotchiness. I don't know what I got into today, but my neck just, just have so many hives. I'm just so tired of it. <laughs> People are like, take Benadryl, but it's Benadryl just knocks me out and makes me kind of cranky, so I just don't. As you see, it just turns into such a beautiful color. And obviously, since this is so like emollient and moussey, you can make this as like saturated or as sheer as you would like. But I like to keep it about right there. I think that's really, really pretty. So I finally bit the bullet and I purchased a reformulated version of the Rosy Glow Blushes by Dior. And I have this in the shade Rosewood. And I, oh my God, I am in love with this blush. It just lays on top of other makeup in such a beautiful way. And it has this like, I would say like this diffusing property that most like at least nice powder blushes have, but for some reason this one just kind of takes it a step up. Like this has no patchiness. Like it just went on top of that really tacky base that I had and that wet cream blush. And just, it just went on top of it like no problem. Just wanted you to see the effect of the glowiness of this blush. It's not shimmery, it just has, it's just a rosy glow, it's just its name, you know? And it's definitely one of those blushes where I just wanna keep like putting more and more on. It's just so pretty. And it's definitely worth the hype. Like I'm happy to finally have tried a reformulated version of everything because of all the like, you know, hubbub that's happened in the past few months with Dior just reformulating everything, but I will say that this blush is really, really kick-ass. Going back to Phytosurgeons, I purchased some of their, um, what are they called? Their Flash Fluorescence Single Eyeshadows. Now, um, I believe in my latte makeup video, I talked about Fractal Freesia. It's this beautiful, 
um, kind of golden one and done shade. And this formula is really interesting. It has that very similar putty-esque feel to it without it being actually wet. It's very interesting. Like, look at Fractal Freesia. Like, that's such a beautiful color. Um, and I do see some green in there, too. Like, the color is really interesting. It's not a, it's not like a boring champagne, but it's also, like, not too funky, so it's, like, really easy for everyday wear. Um, the one I'm going to go in with today is called Lunar Light Wave. I'm not sure in this lighting if you can see the differences in the shades. This is Fractal Freesia and this is Lunar Light Wave. But very wet looking, very elegant. And when I put this on my eyes, I was like, this is Space Cowboy. So I'm going to do a little swatch here so you can all see like the similarities in the two shades. Space Cowboy and Lunar Light Wave. The top is Lunar Light Wave and the bottom is Space Cowboy. You can see that they have a very similar peachy pink kind of beigey base. And then the glitters in it are silver, purple, pink. Very, very beautiful. But what I will say is um, Lunar Light Wave does have larger glitters in it where Space Cowboys glitters are all really, really tiny and refined. So it does appear more wet on the eyes. So I'm just going to take Lunar Light Wave all over the lids. And I have a little bit of my bronzer. I used the Say Sun Melt today and I swiped a little bit of my blush in there too. Just for a little bit of a base. But I'm just going to take Lunar Light Wave all over and just kind of messily, just like smutch her in, you know? Not being too precise. And these are my favorite types of like eye looks are just kind of like messy and glittery and just kind of all over the place. Like that kind of galactic undone, if you will. So as you see, this is Lunar Light Wave. And it's very pretty. Very messy. Like I just kind of have it all over. I really like it. I really enjoy this eyeshadow. And I like the, um, what are they called? The flash fluorescence formula. I think Phytosurgence is becoming um, a brand on my radar, you know? Like I'm definitely enjoying their products. I'm just swiping a little bit of the Ilya mascara through. I've been really, really loving this. It's called the Limitless Lash Mascara, by the way. Um, and I've been loving it so, so much. Um, it's kind of becoming my everyday, like, easy, simple mascara, like, and it gives so much, like, length and volume. I really, really love this. I'm going to line my lips with the uh, Tower 28 One Liner Multi-Liner. It says, okay, the name is confusing. It says One Liner, but then it says Multi-Liner. Is it one liner, multi liner? I don't know. Weird. Um, but this is in the shade Work of Art. And I've been reaching for this a lot. I really, really enjoy this lip liner. And I think it's because it has like a more of a drier formula, but it doesn't like tug. Like it's easily um, blendable. Because I have used lip liners in the past that just tug and don't blend. They're just like lines on your lips. <laughs> like they, they're just not flattering. And I've also used lip liners that last two seconds because they're super creamy. But I would say that this and the Charlotte Tilbury and the NYX lip liners um, all have very similar formulas where they're creamy but not too creamy and yeah they just blend and they're easy to just wear on their own too so this next brand is a new to me brand and it was created by Camille 
Yolaine, who is like a French beauty blogger-esque type person. And so the products are her namesake, so the brand is just called Yolaine. And they have really cute makeup products. So I think I read that her dad was like a painter or something, and so she decided to create these effortless, moussey like formulas that are like a multi-use product. And um, so they're called the Le Mousse de Rouge products, and so they're inspired by paint tubes. And they're these, the formula is super beautiful. It's very like silicone-y in a way. Um, and they're very, very pigmented. Like, as you see, like, that is a very small amount that I applied. And I got the shade, uh, Nude Brown, which is Praline. And I got, um, Nude Rose, which is like a nude pink. And this is called Hortense. So you can see just how pigmented, even when you, like, blend it out like it's so pigmented. I've been using these as um, both lip and cheek products. I think these are really beautiful blushes and they sit really nicely on the lips as well. Um, so as you see these are very very pigmented, very moussey. They do have like a slip to them. Um, so I'm just gonna mix them together here and put that on the lips. Zoom you in so you can really see how that looks on the lips. It also came with this really adorable um, lip brush. Oh, so cute. And surprisingly, I really like the little eyeshadow looking side for kind of blurring the lines on my lips. The two colors mixed together are so pretty. And this comes in a set. So I got the set, the nude set, and it came with the brush and the two nude colors, Praline and Hortense. I hope I'm saying that right. It looks like Hortense, but I feel like in French you don't pronounce the H. So there's that. And if I was feeling really confused as to like how to clean this in a way, um, and if I was feeling like real funky fresh, I can take this onto my brush here and just kind of do that. Put a little on my nose. How pretty! So it's just like soft, kind of rosy, kind of brown, like effortless French girl type makeup. Okay, and last new makeup product um, is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have this in the shade um, Vanilla Beige. I really like this stuff. I really like to keep this in my bag um, if I'm like out or at work or whatever, and just like touch up and like rehydrate my lips. It's really lightly pigmented so you don't have to worry about like looking in a mirror when you're applying this or anything. It's a very easy like on the go like give yourself a little something something but also like very easy to use. Um, yeah I really really like this and I like it on top of this um, matte Yolaine lip mousse stuff because this stuff is really, I don't want to say that it's like drying or anything, but I am a person who does have drier lips. So sometimes when I reapply these, I do feel like my lips feel a little more like drier or so. I don't know. Um, has nothing to do with these and it's, it's really all me and it has nothing to do with the quality of these. It's just any matte leaning lip product does that on me. So I do really like this for like a moisture touch up, but it also has some color to it. So it's just like revamping the color that's already on my lips. That was a really long tangent about a lip. Ball.
Okay, so those are all of the new to me makeup products that I have really been enjoying lately. And uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!